to another road trip with yours truly, Sam Healy, and Jesse Healy. Jesse Healy, my wife. And uh, it's all for flip side of board games. Yes. So, what we're doing today, we finished up our QA this morning and uh, we did some yard work out in the backyard because it looked like a freaking jungle <laughs> back there and I was sick and tired of looking at it. So, we uh, pulled some weeds and, and cut some stuff down, and now we can actually kind of see. Our right fence there. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's we do good have thing. a really nice fence. Yeah, we do have a nice fence. So uh, we're doing that. So now we're headed over to Ellensburg. And uh, if you don't know what Ellensburg is, I'm not surprised because it is a super small place. It's the actually college town. Central Washington University is actually there. it's her it's hometown. It's at her hometown. And there's a what's the I don't even know the name of the store we're going to. What's the name of the store? Windy City Games. Windy City Games. Sounds like some place in Chicago, but it's not in Chicago. It's Same. in Ellensburg. Central Ellensburg. Washington, Ellensburg. Ellensburg is known for their Rodeo. Rodeo. Greatest and show on dirt is what the Ellensburg, that's what their tagline is. I know the that's Ellensburg what their tagline Rodeo is. Their tagline is the greatest show on dirt. Texan, <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of rodeos in my day. We have been to the Ellensburg Rodeo. It's a great rodeo. It wasn't bad. The it's best show on dirt though. Greatest show on dirt. Great, I know, they're stealing from Barnum and Bailey. I know, yes. I get it, okay. Anyway, we're going to hit the road. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. So after having finally reached Ellensburg after a grueling hour and a half drive, it really wasn't that bad. We parked the car and went to Windy City uh, Toys and Games, where they had an impressive selection of bolt action and games workshop products, including Age of Sigmar and 40K. They also had some pretty neat displays of painted miniatures from, I, I would imagine, their customers. But in on top of that, they also had a, a pretty good Star Wars Legion uh, collection and uh, some stuff for Song of Ice and Fire, not to uh, dismiss their play area. Also had a good selection of board games as well. Nice people in the store as well, so um, kudos. Block and a Half Down was also Central City Comics and Games, and they had an impressive collection of comic books and Funko Pop vinyl miniatures, but they also had a fairly decent collection of board games to purchase as well. Less playing area, but a great store uh, and very nice people to boot. We are walking down, what is this? Fourth Pine Street? Fourth. Fourth Street. Walking down Fourth Street. We just, we are being accosted by the wind right it's now. It's a little windy, but it's we're in Ellensburg. It's a lot windy, but we're in Ellensburg and we're, we just got out of a couple of shops, bought some stuff. Um, 
And so we're just kind of walking around. We're going to go get something to eat now, I think. But as you can see, this is like, yeah, downtown Ellensburg, little street. That was cute. So. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Little town, you gotta say. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go get something to eat. We'll talk to you later. Bye. And then after picking up something to eat at the Red Pickle, you need to go eat there, people. If you're ever in Ellensburg, it's good food. We actually were able to go and drive by Jessie's childhood home as she was growing up there in Ellensburg. So we're actually driving down uh, the dirt driveway uh, to her home now. Cows on the side of the road. Uh, it's grown up a little bit, she was telling me, since... Uh, she's lived there, but uh, turning around at this very point, you're going to see Jesse's childhood home that her dad built. So that was a pretty cool thing to be able to go see. Uh, everything is almost like it was. Uh, all of those buildings haven't been built there. Maybe a little bit of change, but that was cool to see. Her grandmother's house is right down the road right here. So that's an interesting thing to see as well. Uh, just how structures, that's her grandmother's home, and, and how they stick around even though we aren't around them anymore. So that was neat. So we had to stop at a rest area because reasons. Me. I had to stop too. It's usually me. I mean, we had a peanut butter shake at U Totem. We had water at dinner. <laughs> we had coffees on the way over. Still have. And we got coffee on the way back. <laughs> so <laughs> the science dictates that we should stop. That we're gonna have to stop at some point. So we stopped at the rest stop that's in Quincy because it just happens to be- My favorite rest area in all of Washington State. Her favorite rest area. I almost just took out a sign because did, I was looking at her. But it's okay, I didn't. Almost is the it's, operative it's word. Key. Yes. But it's it is, it is her, there's nothing really that <laughs> special about I mean, the rest the trees stop. trees and you know. But- It is my favorite rest stop because because it's the first place that I told her I love her. Yeah. So that's why it's our favorite rest area. There's no other reason. I, the reason we were here is because I was showing them. I was showing her where I used to take Aiden and Catherine and go play catch, basically. So it's not, well, sun is super freaking yeah, bright. Yeah, it's kind of like. Um... But it's just the way it is. But uh, that's why we were there in the first place. And then I was like, well, you know, I think. I think it's time to say this. Yeah, I think it's time. So that's why. But we are now headed back to. The Wenatchee area. The Wenatchee area. It has been, um, I don't know what, about a 7.34 now. So it's been. Five hours. Yeah, it's been about a five hour road trip. So that was pretty cool. It was super fun. Actually, yeah. we got a date, dinner. Yep. Uh, yeah, the the red game. pickle, the red pickle in, <laughs> in Ellensburg on the corner of 4th and Pine Street. Yeah. Um, it was good. Good really food. Good. We had the chorizo burger. Yeah. And it was super good. We split it. But we had the chorizo burger with rosemary fries. It was very good. Super good food. Yes. Um, so go ahead and try that. We went to, what was it? 
No, no, we already talked about that. I don't care about campus. You don't. It's a really good, really good peanut butter shake. Just, just saying. Uh, but we went to the two stores. The two stores we went to was Wendy City Toys, toys and, and collectibles. Toys and Collectibles. Is that what it is? I thought it was Toys and Games. Uh, and then we went to the Central City Comics, <laughs> which is a deceptive name because it's there is a lot of comics in there, but yeah. they have a, actually a, a very decent selection of board games. Yeah, they did. And they also have a, a huge selection of Funko Pop huge. minis, vinyl huge. figures. So that's a pretty cool store, too. So go check them out. Um, nice people that were running the store. Nice people over at uh, Windy City uh, Toys and Collectibles as well. Uh, that's uh, I was looking around at all the, the different. It's mainly a Warhammer store. They do have a, uh, a selection of board games in there, but it's, it's diminutive compared to their... Warhammer. Warhammer stuff, right. They have so, a lot of Warhammer Yeah, stuff. but it's not just Warhammer. They have some uh, um, bolt action, I think is what the word, uh, bolt action. They had some Song of Ice and Fire stuff in there. They also had um, Star Wars. Uh, yeah, uh, Star Wars Legion. They had that stuff in there as well. So they had a, it's mainly a tabletop miniatures game store uh that's what they really kind of specialize in but they they had really good stock uh, good nice people uh so the store was in uh the older downtown area so it was and it's a cute downtown yeah it is a cute downtown but the the buildings are older so the facility wasn't that great but nice people a friendly open environment yeah, yeah. was well lit a lot of natural light as well um, had had a lot of space to play, but not a lot. But they had, I think, five or six tables they where did. they could I play. Think so. so it was a good day. It was a good day. Uh, good, good couple, good couple of stores. Um, good drive. Nice weather. Beautiful. Uh, super beautiful weather. And nice although, day too. yeah, good day. good day. So we had a good time. We also, you know, stopped by. Well, you saw the footage. You, we stopped by. Uh, Jesse's old, old. <laughs> I, I'm too short for the sun visor to actually. She actually has the sun visor down all this the way. Is the sun visor, can you see? It's all right there. the way. It's right there. I'd have to have a booster seat <laughs> to get into the sun chat visor. Right here, it's just in my face. <laughs> but it's a super windy day. But uh, I don't know. Let me see. No, I can't turn around right now. But I'll. No. I'll do it some other time. But anyway, we're gonna get on out of here. This has been a pretty cool video. I think I th hope you enjoy it. Uh, just another road trip, but it was just an hour and a half um, both ways, and we spent a couple of couple hours in uh, Ellensburg, and now we're headed back home. So there you go. That's the road trip. So we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Bye.